Rolling. Hello everybody on YouTube, it's Ross from Ross.com here. I'm here with the uh, forum member uh, Missing Link, I think his name is, or something like that. Kind of intimidating, you know, big guy, you know, <laughs> knock me in the head if he doesn't like me. Anyway, Very we're South drinking Slush. beer today. I'm about half lit. We got a Guinness Extra Stout. I'm not trying to advertise or anything, it's just what I'm drinking today. Tomorrow might be Modelo. Anyways, um, you got a 9900i International? Yes. What year, 2008? Yes. And um, he came over here for uh, as a glutton for punishment, I suppose. He's a Canuck, Canadian, however you want to pronounce it, Canada and Canada. Canada land. Can Canada and yes, Canada. Sir. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Been there about 10,000 times myself, actually. My favorite is Regina. Uh, yes, yes. And you go to Burger King and get poutine. Except I always pronounce it poutine, but you know, that's. Yes. Uh, you know, mispronunciation, I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced, but you know. Poutine. It always makes the girls behind the counter kind of blush. Poutine. <laughs> Anyways, um, I figured I'd make a YouTube video today. I've been working on this experimental, uh, like, Frankenstein little Gizmo. box here. Gizmo. Gizmachi. Thingamadig. Thingamabob. It's got a few of uh, these. Uh, I don't know, 18650 batteries in it, make 12 volts, 11.5. <laughs> it's got a connector on it. It's got a Arduino, uh, you know, a little cheapy $10 Arduinos, and a CAN bus board. Ooh, that could get dangerous fast. A Your CAN bus J1939 board. Anyways, um, you know, I've been helping people with their turbos and their engines and stuff, and I thought I'd make a box that could manually operate a VG turbo on these one of these new engines like the A71, 22, 2350s, these new whole set VG turbos. And I figured, what, what else would be better than a box where you could just like plug in and turn the knob, like have this knob on here to turn it, manually move the turbo, the VG veins inside the turbo, and listen to see if like the turbo's worn out or how much resistance how much resistance it has when it moves instead of taking it apart you know or before you take it apart it's just like a basic test also be able to calibrate it or um, you know do those kind of things without a computer so i've been working on this and uh i kind of got it working actually um through a bunch of experiments but um i did some tests i did it with mine and uh, my turbo's in really good shape. Uh, I got about 560,000 miles on my turbo. So second turbo, I got 1.2 million miles on my truck. Um, so this is my second turbo. And um, it actually worked really well uh, on my truck. And this thing's got a little teeny tiny, I know it's a little teeny tiny, tiny display, but you know, that's what I had laying in a drawer. So, you know, that's what I use. I could have used a bigger display, but um, what it does is it's got a couple modes where you can turn the knob and it'll follow you. The, the, like the motor inside will follow the it's knob. It's a manual. So manual control where you can move the vanes in and out of the turbocharger, either with the engine running or not. And, um, and it's got a second mode where it'll actually move it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth at whatever speed you set the knob to, which is kind of cool. And do tests that way. What it gives you, it gives you the actual position versus the commanded position you told it to. So it gives you the error. And it also gives you the amperage of the motor. Uh, so so how, much, how, how stiff it is. How stiff it is when it operates the, the actual turbo. So if you've got a worn out turbo or if there's something hanging up inside or something, you can actually see the amperage as you move it, whether the amperage goes up or down or spikes or whatever. So it's kind of cool. And um, I want to make a little YouTube video of it because he said he's been having trouble with his turbo, which he's not sure. And um, lo and behold, this thing has discovered, this box, with this box, we've discovered that his turbo is actually a little bit uh, messed up. So I want to show a good turbo with this box, and then we'll show a bad turbo, and we'll try to get some of the sound that it makes as it moves, because the sound is kind of important to, to hear, uh, just as a reference. So I don't, you know, it's no kind of official video of any kind of sorts. It's just me playing with a little Arduino box and some CAN bus boards, and just sort of, you know, hack the planet kind of thing, you know, or hacking the you know, the, the engine a little bit, you know, I mean, just trying to do some troubleshooting, you know, truck owner, to see if his uh, truck's in good shape. So Anyways, let's cut and we'll go over to my truck and plug this thing in and we'll see a, a good one. Rolling? Rolling, okay. Let me get my contraption here. Um, this is my truck. I have a CM871, it's a 2011 Pro Star, Broke Star on a bad day and Porn Star on a good day. <laughs> Anyways, um, here's my turbo and my turbo actuator, electronic VG actuator. 
I don't know if you can see this, maybe get up on that step stool and you can see this plug right here. Anyways, um, I lost my train of thought. The plug? How does that For happen? the actuator? Yes, the actuator. The turbo actuator plugs right here is a little four pin connector. Four pin connector. And um, mine's partially broken because I've had it apart a few times and I broke it. But uh, it's still got the connect catch thing on it and push that in. Most of the time they have a little tab here, you gotta push it to the side and all that. I have other YouTube videos on all this. But um, I'm gonna pop this one off and I'm gonna put mine on here, my little contraption. I don't know, that's dangerous. I don't know, you got the dangerous thing, man. Anyway, so I'm gonna connect minute. this up with a plug that I bought uh, from Mauser. Oh, there we go, plugged it in. It's got some batteries, so I don't even need the truck. Look at that, I don't need the truck power system. It's got some Pretty batteries. Technical. I'm gonna turn it on, and I don't know if you can hear this, it's gonna be real quiet. You hear that? I do. You hear that little whine? I do. That means it's operating. So, right now it's in monitor mode. I'm gonna go to control mode, and it's making a liar out of me. Cut. <laughs> so maybe I don't want it to prototype. You don't want the prototype? It's not working. See, look, it doesn't work. It's controlling, but it's nothing comes back. Look here. Look here. Look. I've, ha I've had it apart so many times. The wires broke. So we're gonna have to cut and come back. Cut. Rolling. <laughs> Roz's contraption. Take two. Look at a broken wire. Ah <laughs> Yeah. So now I get to unplug my battery pack. Look at that. That's what happens when you take things apart uh, 400 times and you play with them. Yeah, well, you know, it's just a prototype, so I will connect those two wires back. That's the J1939, too. I think the green one was on the left. Maybe I should have wrote it down. Anyways, let's, uh, let's solder some things here. My unprofessional soldering skills. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What a mess. You go to make a YouTube video and your contraption breaks. Oh, is that classic or what? Thingamabob. Do hickey. Yeah, yeah. Thingamabob. And my high sight, since I'm 50 plus years old now, it's getting so bad. I need these extra, extra mad scientist glasses going on here. Woo, now I can see the little tiny wire. Optical enhancers. Optical enhancement. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I saw a woman on YouTube restoring like some Leonardo da Vinci, da Vinci or whatever painting. And I saw her wearing a pair of these and I thought, wow, I need a pair of them so I could solder. Oh, okay. Temporary fix number one. Temporary fix number two. And we can always spin the connector around the other way if it don't work. There we go. Maybe we can make a YouTube video now. What do you think? Maybe. On my contraptional box here. <laughs> this is like the experiment prototype from hell, I'm telling you. But you know what? If you don't make at least one, you don't know how to make one. Cut.